guys, welcome back. Thanks for coming to watch my second YouTube video. I'm really excited about this one because this one is going to be on one of my old friends, Hope. I've uh, known her since she was very, very little and she is now a young, young woman and we're really doing her very first hair color today. So I'm gonna show you her lovely hair and how beautiful she is. Hi guys. So this is Hope, she's never had her hair colored. So she's a high school student, she's 17 years old. Again, I did your first haircut when you were what, maybe 10? Yeah. I think she's about 10 years old. <laughs> so we are going to be doing a balayage ombre on her today. So she's, you know, a high school student. She doesn't have time to get her hair done all the time. So we're gonna keep her natural base up here, which is around like a level four. And we're going to be lightening up her ends, just give her some nice neutral kind of ashy tones. Give her, you know, a nice fun fall color and just spice it up a little bit. So mm -hmm. let's go get started. So Hope is naturally around a level four. She's got beautiful hair. As you can see, it's, it's already a little gradually lighter towards the bottom just from, you know, summer kind of lightening her hair up. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use Oligo Extra Blonde and Cool Tone Lightener. I'm actually probably gonna start on her in the front because I want to make sure that it gets nice and bright in the front. I'm gonna start with 20 volume in the front, then we're gonna to go to the back, and I might use 30 volume in the back, not sure quite yet, just depending on how quickly her hair lifts. Since she is a virgin color and has no previous color on her hair, I think she's gonna lift really, really well. And of course, I always use Olaplex. I always add that into my lightener, and I also add Monique's Rejuvenique Oil. I add about two drops per ounce of lightener. So let's go back into the color area and get mixing. All right, so I've got Hope prepped and ready. I've got her just sectioned off into three sections with just the ear forward, the back, and then ear forward. So I'm gonna start on the front first, and I always love to use this Framar backwards bib. I love it because it keeps the, the cape nice and clean. So what we're gonna do to start, I'm also gonna be using, this is a new comb that I got from Pink Pewter, and I love it. It's great for teasing because it has this little grip that you literally can tease with. It's, it's amazing, I love it. So TZ Lights will definitely ensure she's got an awesome blend. So to start, I'm just gonna do an angled parting right here in the front. I'm gonna just grab this little section down here. I actually might keep this one a little dark. We're gonna go to the next section right here. Section this off. You grab this right here. Grab that pink pewter comb and just back comb here. What I love about back combing is when it comes out, it literally creates a very, very seamless blend. So then I'm just going to go in here, my Framar foils. And I'm actually, to make sure that she really has pops of blonde, I'm going to make sure I really, really saturate all over. So I'm gonna go in with this Oligo and 20 volume. And then I'm just going to lightly feather this up. And even if you get little pieces on those little T spots, it, it doesn't matter. And then I always make sure I go underneath and make sure that is nice and blended. You don't want any harsh lines. Okay, so then once I've got that, I'm just going to lay a foil underneath. Always gotta wipe my hands off. And I'm just gonna make sure that I saturate it just a little bit more. The more saturation, the brighter it's gonna be. And then I just grab another foil, stick it on top. And 
go on to the next section. So then for this next one, I'm going to alternate in between doing these teasy lights and then just some balayage pieces. So for this next one, I'm gonna take a little bit bigger section. And the key is you always wanna make sure that you have nice tension and your client will just kind of like resist the tension. But I'm gonna do just like some slight back combing right here, not as much as the other section. But this way, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna paint a nice little V right through here. And then go all the way down. And I'm just painting on the surface of this one. So underneath, if you glide it on with the side of your brush, underneath you'll notice that there's no light there underneath. So this will give that nice shadow. And I always go back in with my Redken Blur brush and I just kind of blur up just to make sure there's zero harsh lines. Just really makes a nice diffuse glow on the hair. And then I always go back in and make sure it's nice and saturated. And then close this in with another foil. And I'm just going to repeat this technique all the way up until the very top of her hair. And then we'll focus on her money piece right in the front, which is like the most important part of the hair, where we want to get a nice, you know, pop of lightness right through here. Because we are going to keep her are dark the majority of the way down, but we do want to bring up just a couple of soft pieces, especially right in the front, so she feels like she has that nice pop of blonde in the front. So the most important part of a girl's hair color is the very front pieces. You always want to make sure they're nice and bright so that a nice brunette, she gets that feel of blonde without being too blonde. So I always grab this middle, this little section right here, depending on how she parts her hair. So we already know that's exactly where she normally parts her hair. So I'm going to go through with my pink pewter brush and just lightly back comb this so it'll have like a nice diffused glow up to the top. And then I'm just gonna go in and fully saturate this piece right here. And you wanna saturate it all the way through cause you wanna make sure it's nice and bright. So now we're on the top section of Hope's hair. So I'm just going to back comb very lightly. We don't want the pieces to come up too high, but I do want just, I'm gonna do probably my normal kind of V pattern right here and just bring up just a little bit of lightness, but really make sure we saturate it down here. Uh, just so that she really still has all that dark up top, but it just really kind of feathers down into those bright colors. So I'm gonna kinda go actually more at a diagonal here. With a little bit of a V, but kinda like a crooked V to where the front part of her hair is brighter, higher up than the back. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've done this whole front right side of Hope's hair. Now I'm just gonna move on to the other side and I'm gonna be doing the same technique. And then after that, we will move to the back, which I will probably bump up her volume to 30 volume in the back, just cause it'll take me a little bit longer. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So now we're gonna start on the back of Hope's hair. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I do leave her a lot deeper underneath here, just cause that looks more natural on a client. So what I'm gonna be doing is, as you can see, I have these little diagonal V partings. I like to do diagonal partings up the head and then a couple horizontal throughout. But we're just gonna be teasing most of these sections and then just doing some Vs and Ws with the balayage technique and do this all throughout her head. Okay, so Hope has been sitting for about 35, almost 40 minutes, and we just did 20 volume all over her head. Since this is my first time ever doing her hair, I wanted to be gentle on the lightener, but I wanted to pull it out and show you guys just really how well she lifted. She's just like a nice kind of pale yellow right now. So what we're gonna do is go in, rinse her, and tone it all to give her a nice neutral sun-kissed brunette. All right, so as you can see, I did these like nice slight V patterns going down. So she's gonna be mostly dark all through here with just some soft little highlights throughout. And then we're gonna tone all of this. So of course, you know, it's not gonna look this yellow when it's done. But I love it because you can really see just how much of her natural is going to still be in there so that it will literally look like she's just been at the beach for a week. It's gonna turn out so well. I'm super duper excited. All right, let's rinse you. All right guys, so I have washed Hope's hair and she's currently sitting and letting her hair kind of air dry. We want to get her nice and damp. Um, now I'm going to be going in and doing her gloss formulation. This is the most important part because she lifted pretty like yellowy and we want to get her to a nice kind of caramely rich neutral kind of deep blonde. So I'm gonna start, I really want it to be like a color melt where it's just gradual from top to bottom. So I'm gonna start in her like zone one area with around a level four-ish, which is around her natural, just to blend any lines that don't transition super smooth. And then I will blend that into probably around a level seven and then to a level nine, a level eight, level nine towards her end. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up.
Hope is finally done. She hasn't seen herself yet. We're about to do the grain reveal. But what we did, I just did, I wanted to go over real quick what we did. Uh, TZ lights, did some balayage pieces, and then let that process for about 30, 40 minutes, and then toned her with Redken Shades EQ. So she is ready to see it. Oh, and we also curled with my favorite wand here. And many people ask me about this. It's the Paul Mitchell Neuro Wand, and it is the best wand on the planet. So I wanted to show you guys that. And with that being said, we are going to show Hope her hair. Wow. You like it? Yes, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I love that dark in there with the light. Mm -hmm. Looks so, so pretty. pretty. And it's natural enough. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Love it, love it. Mm -hmm. Let's go take some pictures. Yes. Thank you guys again so much for watching my second YouTube video. We had a blast creating this video. Hope's hair looks so beautiful. It turned out so pretty. I think it's just the perfect fall color for her and the perfect transition for her to finally having, you know, color in her hair. So thank you to Oligo. You have the best lightener I've ever used. Uh, Redken Shades EQ for your amazing toning abilities and just for creating this beautiful neutral chestnut brunette. And thank you to Monate for your amazing hair care products. They're the best I've ever used. So thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for the next video.